and leaves and people are just like all right um next speaker <laughs> yeah, that's why i love him he, he does a mic drop in every conversation that he's in but they always when there's a disagreement they handle it civilly and then they get to almost i don't want to say a solution in some certain circumstances they do get to a solution together but that's how it should be you shouldn't be polarized one way or the other it's almost like today we've lost the power to say no mm. because if you say no you get labeled an extremist one way or the other you can't just be in the middle you can't just be fighting for everyone that's and that's a black and white answer, but it's where a black and white answer actually should be. Yeah. It, it, no, it, it, it's true. Yeah. It, you're, you're so, you're like afraid to say the wrong thing based on who you're talking with. Exactly. That you, you don't. You don't. Like, exactly. Right? You the, just shut up. I don't even know how I said that, but you understand what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And you, I think it was you actually, you posted a clip from the Hill with Eric Weinstein. Yep. Right. That was awesome. Yes. Cause that, and he's. He's a savage, dude. He is an absolute savage. That's why him and Peter Thiel go well together because they don't just feed you things that you should be doing. They ask questions that make you go home and think about it. They're not just telling you what to do and what you shouldn't do. They're making you think about what's, in a sense, best for you. Mm. Yeah. Did, did you ever hear the first episode, I think, that Weinstein did on his podcast where he had on Thiel? Yes. Yeah. You listen to that for like an hour and you're like, man, I really fucked up in my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's true because they, they question, a little plug for the show here, they question the status quo. Yeah. You know, they don't really accept things, but he's, you know, he's going through like clubhouse. He, he just goes room to room and he's like, listen, all you are going to fucking hate me, but <laughs> listen, you righties, you're, you're idiots, you lefties, you're goons. All right, I'm going to the next room now. Yep. And But the thing is like, He's so smart. He lays out this like dissertation case in like a minute and leaves and people are just like, all right, um, next speaker. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love him. He, he does a mic drop in every conversation that he's in. It's amazing. But he's, he's very valid and almost, I would argue a majority of his points, if not all of them. Now, why doesn't a guy like that run for office? Because he's too smart. He, he can, and he can't be controlled. We see it in the physics community. He just, a lot of people don't like Eric Weinstein because of he's so vocal with his opinions and he doesn't go with the norms because at the end of the day, it's kind of a political situation too because all these physicists and scientists are employed by a university who's funded by who. Yeah. And he doesn't fuck with any of that. It's great. It's group think 101. Exactly. The money talks with yep. it too. Yeah, he's, and I, I always, I go back and forth. I say Weinstein, I say Weinstein. It is Weinstein, right? Correct, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not friends with the guy. I wish I was, but I'm but, pretty sure yeah, that's it. You're yeah, you're a big fan. Yeah. His brother is awesome, too. Yes. And his brother is more, his brother is more openly ideological. Yes. He, he's more of a traditional, I, I guess I would say like 2000s liberal type. Mm -hmm. And just one of the smartest people I've ever heard talk. Hey.